Good day, Matam 6 students. Welcome to our online learning discussion. This is our subject, English as a Second Language, and your teacher here, Ms. Michelle Joy. So, class, before we proceed with our online learning discussion, I would like us to have a short recap or review of the last topics that we have before we did our midterm assessment. So, the first one is synonyms. So, what is a synonym? A synonym is one of two or more words in the English language which have the same or very nearly the same essential meaning. Like, for example, small, short, beautiful, pretty. The second topic that we have discussed is about the types of synonyms. So, class, there are many types of synonym, but we only discuss the two types of synonyms, which are, first, the absolute synonyms, and the second one, relative synonyms. So when we say absolute synonyms, it means also complete synonyms or perfect synonyms like words which are identical in meaning in all its aspects and interchangeable in all situations. The second one is relative synonym, also near synonyms or partial synonyms. Words which are similar or nearly the same in denotation but embrace different shades of meaning or different degrees of a given quality. Now, class, if you want to study more about synonyms or types of synonyms, just go back to the video that I have posted before our midterm assessment. So, class, let us proceed with our online discussion now. So, our topic is about cause and effect. So before we discuss what is cause and what is effect, let us read the words to learn that we will be encountering in our next slides. Please repeat after me so you can still practice your speaking skills and reading skills even if you're just at home. Number one, cause. Number two, effect. Number three, reason. Number four, result. And number five, happening. Now, class, let us discuss these words one by one so that later on when we go through our discussion, you will be having an idea or opinion or you can share your knowledge about the topic that we have for today. So, what is the meaning of the word cause? A cause is something that makes something else happen. Out of two events, it is the event that happens first. To determine the cause, ask the question, why did it happen? Next, the second word, effect. An effect is what happens as a result of the cause. So by this sentence class, you already know that cause happens first before the effect. Of two related events, it's the one that happens second or last. To determine the effect, Ask the question, what happened? Next, the third word is reason. So what do you mean by the word reason? Reason is a term that refers to the capacity human beings have to make sense of things, to establish and verify facts, and to change or justify practices, institutions, and beliefs. So we are talking about cause and effect. We have to know the reason why. Next, the fourth word, result. What is a result? A describable or measurable change resulting from a cause and effect relationship. So we cannot talk about cause and effect without talking about the reason and the result. And the last word is happening. So class, what are the similar words for the word happening? We have occurrence, incident, event, occasion, circumstance, episode, affair, experience, adventure, and phenomenon. So these are the five words that we will be encountering in our next slides. Let's repeat reading them again. Number one, cause. Number two, effect. Number three, reason. Number four, result. And number five, happening. Class for this week, the objectives of the lesson are the following. The first one, 
students must be able to know what a cost is. And the second one, students must be able to know what an effect is. So cause and effect, there is a relationship between these two words and that is what we are going to talk about. Cause and effect. You'll be able to tell about cause and effect and identify cause and effect relationship. The cause is the event. It is why something happens. The effect is the result. It's what happens because of something else. This means the cause will come first and the effect will happen after a second. For example, I got wet after getting caught in the rain. In this sentence, the rain came down first, which was the cause, and I got wet as a result, and that is the effect. Here's another. The sun shone on my flower and it grew. In the sentence, the sun shone on the flower first, which makes it the cause, and as a result, the flower grew, which makes it the effect. Let's try it in sentences now. This sentence says, Jane slipped and fell. Now what is the cause? Which event happened first? Jane slipped or she fell? That's right. Jane slipped first, so that is the cause. Let's try another. This sentence says, Sam got sick after standing in the rain. What is the cause? Which event happened first? Sam got sick or Sam was standing in the rain. That's right, Sam was standing in the rain first. That's what caused him to get sick. Here's another. This sentence says, Caleb studied hard and got an A. What is the effect? What happened as a result of something else? Caleb studying hard or Caleb getting an A? Yes, the effect was Caleb getting an A. He only got an A because he studied. Here's another. I drank some water because I was thirsty. Which is the effect? Which is the result of something else? If you said I drank some water is the effect, you're correct. I drank some water as a result of being thirsty. So remember, the cause is the event. It tells what happens first and why something is happening. And the effect is the result. It is the second thing that happens. And it happens because of something else. Cause and effect. So class, what do you mean by the word cause and effect? What is the relationship of the word cause and effect? So let us read. Cause. It is the reason why something happened. It always happened first before the effect. Now, what is effect? So, effect is the result of what happened. And we can always determine what is the cause in the sentence and what is the effect in the sentence by using different signal words. And here are some examples of signal words. Because, so, since, as a result, if, then, therefore, due to, and etc. So, plus, we can see here an example of cause and effect. You can see here the girl planting a flower. That is the cause. And because she planted flower, the flower grew into this. That is the effect. So, the cause happened first before the effect. Effect will never happen if there is no cause. So class, let us further discuss what is cause and effect. So cause and effect. Cause. The cause happens first. Always remember that class, the cause happens first. The cause explains why something happens. And effect. The effect happens after the cause. 
So plus, cause happens first and after cause, which comes next? The effect. The effect tells what happens as a result of the cause. But always remember that a cause can be written at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. Let's see some examples that we have in here. Number one, the little girl started to cry when she saw the clown. So what do you think is the first thing that happened? The little girl started to cry or when she saw the clown. So of course the cause is when she saw the clown. The girl started to cry. So before, before she saw the clown, she is not crying. But after she saw the clown, when she saw, from the word saw, it means past tense already, that is the time that the girl started to cry. So that is the effect. Now, please take a look at sentence number two. When the little girl saw the clown, she started to cry. So when the little girl saw the clown, that is the cause, she started to cry. That is the effect. So you can see class numbers one and two, effect and cause, cause and effect. So in number one, effect comes first before the cause in the sentence. And in the sentence number two, cause comes first before the effect. But it's still the same cause, the same effect. Okay, the effect is the girl started to cry and the cause is when the girl saw the clown. Next, let us proceed to sentence number three. I put the water bottle in the freezer last night, okay? And this morning, it was cracked. So, which happened first? So, I put the water in the freezer last night. So, that is the cause and the effect. This morning, it was cracked. Now, let's proceed to number four. The water bottle cracked. Why? Because the water expanded as it froze. So, the water bottle cracked as an effect of the water expanded as it froze. And the last sentence, number five, there is a stain on my shirt because I dropped chocolate on it. Which happened first, the stain on the shirt or because that person dropped the chocolate on it? So, of course, plus the effect, there is a stain on my shirt and the cause, I dropped chocolate on it. So, I think, class, you have now a better understanding of what cause and effect is. How are you going to recognize cause and effect in a sentence? Okay, so let us read again. Cause, the reason for an action, event, or decision, it answers the question why. Effect, what happened as a result of the cause? It answers the question, what? Cause happens first before the effect. Cause is the first thing to happen and the second or last thing to happen is the effect. Now class, let's take a look at the different keywords or signal words used when you are writing a sentence that has a cause and effect. As a result of, because, because of, by virtue of, consequently, due to, due to the fact, on account of, owing to, resulting in, seeing that, since, so, thanks to, the reason for, therefore, whereas, which means, and so on and so forth. So, class, these keywords or signal words are between the cause and effect. So I repeat class, sometimes cause is at the end of the sentence and effect is at the start or beginning of the sentence. Always look for the keyword or signal word because it will tell you where is the cause and where is the effect. But always remember that cause answers the question why and effect answers the question what. Let's think about sentence structure. So sometimes the cause comes first in the sentence. Take a look at this. All of the students ride a bus to school. So, 
so is the signal word or the key word. It separates the cause and the effect in the sentence. So the bike racks have been removed. The second sentence, the students made $1,000 in their candy sale, which means they get to go on their trip. So the signal word or the keyword is which means. So the first sentence, all of the students ride a bus to school. Okay. And so the bike racks have been removed. Which in here is the cause and which in this sentence is the effect. So all of the students ride a bus to school. So that is the, let's take a look at the second sentence. The bike racks have been removed. So, the answer is, all of the students ride a bus to school. That is the effect. The bike racks have been removed. That is the cause. And for sentence number two, let's read again. The students made $1,000 in their candy sale. They get to go on their trip. So, class, the cause is the students made $1,000 in their candy sale and the effect they get to go on their trip. Let us continue. Sometimes the effect comes first in the sentence. The students were given bug lunches because the electricity was out in the cafeteria. The second sentence, all of the students can eat in the cafeteria thanks to the donation of 10 new tables. So the effect class, the students were given bug lunches and what is the cause the electricity was out in the cafeteria we can also put the cause in the beginning of the sentence like the electricity was out in the cafeteria so the students were given bug lunches so you see class we can always put the cause in the beginning of the sentence even also the effect. We can also put effect in the beginning of the sentence. Like sentence number two. All of the students can eat in the cafeteria. Thanks to the donation of 10 new tables. Or we can do like this. Because of the donation of 10 new tables, all of the students can eat in the cafeteria. Okay, so we just have to concentrate and focus on the signal words or keywords that has been used. And we also have to know how to determine the cause and the effect in the sentence by asking the question, why and what? So class, we now come to the end of our discussion. So it's time for us to do our activity for today which is matching causes with its effects. So cause and effect practice. So instruction, we have here match causes with its effects. Write the correct number. So on the left side class, we can see numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and we have here number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We are going to match these sentences to the column on the right. Okay, so let's try to answer question number one. So let's focus on number one. Her handwriting was messy. So the answer is the teacher couldn't read her work. So you just write number one in here. Okay, so please answer numbers two to ten. Good luck, everyone. So class, we now come to the end of our discussion. If you have any question that you would want to ask, please send me a message in our Google Classroom account or in my personal line account. Stay safe, everyone. Goodbye.